Hello, this is a picture of a guardian structure. Well, the centre point in a guardian structure. And uh, and it's a screenshot taken by Commander Gibbon. It's uh, very kindly gave me this uh, via email a while back. So the guardians, they're this long gone race of folk that uh, were pretty much taken out by their own computer systems, their own AI, and uh, there's been lots of storylines about them throughout the last few years as they've been in the game, and uh, they're, they're, there's some spectacular sites associated with them. Initially we, we got the ruins, their ruined sites, and people investigated those, and, and then we got uh, these structures which are active and you can interact with them more. Uh, and then we had some beacons in space, which are just amazing. They just look gorgeous and they float in space and you can see them. So this is quite a bit relating to the Guardian race in the game. This is the SRV I'm just drawing out there. Mostly this is a landscape. It's pretty much about the light, the light of the blue light that's emitted by this part of the structure. There's these two pylons that have been activated and uh, it's part of the reason that we people go to these places these guardian structures you, you can normally find a relic on the site they're uh, they're held in the top of these pillars which, which tend to rise from the ground as you pass by them although i noticed i was playing in odyssey last night at a guardian site and i found that um, the the pillars are only activated when you're actually in a vehicle when you're on foot the pillars don't don't feel the pressure pressure plate i imagine or some sort of um, awareness of you but they, they don't see you if you're on foot so if you're in an SRV the pillars rise and you can aim a shot at the top of the pillars where there's the, the relic that sits in the sort of the cleft at the top and that relic falls and you can gather it up and place it in front of this this structure here now you have to have um, lit all the pylons first but that's not that's not too big a job. It's it's tricky finding the pylons in time because they're on a timer. But uh, once you've lit them all, then basically you've got all the time in the world to trundle your way up to the centre point of the map and, and then place the relic down on a little pressure plate in front of this glowing kind of pyramidal shape here in the centre of this picture I'm doing. And quite a lot of the time I am just trying to make it look right colour. I'm putting in lots of different shades of blue and green because it's sort of turquoise. When you do activate this, you'll get a, a couple of defence craft appear. They're called sentinels. And uh, you, I mean, you'll have had to have uh, taken out a few of these defence crafts already. They're sort of robot drone type affairs. They, uh, they're sort of these this ancient culture this long gone ancient culture has still got its uh, defense systems active so you'll come up against a couple of these these drones these sentinels they'll attempt to uh, destroy you they're pretty easy to counter to be honest though they have some amazing missiles they can send down in you with great sweeping trails behind them they look fantastic that's my favourite bit of the picture, to do the light that shines up from the activated pylons. They're just spectacular. I love it. I love it. Now, you're not seeing this picture, but when you activate the pylons, a, a floating sphere turns up. And that's a data terminal that you can you scan for information. I know it's quite an elaborate data terminal to have to place this relic there and then have the data terminal float upwards into the sky, sending out its electric rays everywhere. They look fantastic, the data terminals do. They're the spheres. Righto, uh, that's it. That's done. I left this one quite splodgy because I liked it as it was. Anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.